Hi and good day, this is Miss Sabrina. I am going to give a brief about Experiment 1, Identification of Biological Molecules in Food. So, let's get started! These are the objectives of the experiment. Number 1. To carry out tests for reducing sugars, starch, proteins, and lipids. Number 2. Two determined types of biological molecules present in a food sample given. These are the materials and apparatus that will be used in experiment 1. Materials are distilled water, glucose, albumin, starch, vegetable oil, peanuts, Benedict solution, buret solution, lupal solution, and Sudan 4 solution. For the apparatus, these are calibrated dropper, test tube, test tube rack, water bath or hot plate, mortar and pestle, spatula, and vertex mixer. Now, let's have a look on procedures. Fill half a 250 ml beaker with water and set to boil. Make sure the temperature must be above 95 degrees Celsius. Place 8 test tubes in a test tube rack. Grind 10 peanuts using mortar and pestle. Let's move on. In this procedure, the procedure is performed to determine the presence of reducing sugar. You need to label two test tubes. Test tube 1 for glucose, test tube 2 for peanut. In test tube 1, Put in 2 ml of glucose solution. Test tube 2, put in half a spatula of ground peanut. Next, take note the color of the Benedict's reagent. After that, using a dropper, drop 2 ml of Benedict reagent into both test tubes. Heat both test tubes for 5 minutes and observe any color changes. In this procedure, this procedure is carried out to determine the presence of protein. You need to label two test tubes, test tube 1 for albumin, test tube 2 for peanut. In test tube 1, put in 2 ml of albumin solution. In test tube 2, put in half a spatula of ground peanut. Take note the color of the buret reagent. Next. Using a dropper, drop 2 ml of buret reagent into both test tubes and observe any color changes. In this procedure, it is being carried out to determine the presence of polysaccharide. All you need to do is to label two test tubes as test tube 1 for starch, test tube 2 for peanut. In test tube 1, Put in 2 ml of starch solution. Test tube 2, put in half a spatula of ground peanut. Take note the color of the Lugol solution. After that, add 10 drops of Lugol solution into each test tube and observe any color changes. Let's move on. This is a final procedure to determine the presence of lipid. All you need to do is label two test tubes. Test tube 1 for vegetable oil, test tube 2 for peanut. Both of these test tubes need to be placed 2 ml of water. Next, in test tube 1, put in 2 ml of vegetable oil, test tube 2, put in half a spatula of ground peanut. Take note the color of the Sudan 4 solution. Add 10 drops of Sudan 4 solution into each test tube. Okay, both of the test tubes need to be mixed using a vortex mixer. Then add 2 ml of water to each test tube. And finally, observe any changes that occur in the test tube 1 and test tube 2. All right. That's all from me, briefing about experiment one to all my fellow students.
before I want to say goodbye, do not forget to subscribe, share, and like all the videos Assalamualaikum and a very good day everyone. My name is Miss Nawala Mimi Binti Saidun and I'm going to give you guys a briefing on experiment 2 cell staining. So basically there are two objectives in doing this experiment which are to prepare a wet amount of plant cells and animal cells and to compare the same plant and animal cells under a microscope. So basically shown here are the images of plant cells and animal cells under a microscope. So I'm going to list down the materials and apparatus needed in doing this experiment. You need two types of staining reagent which are methylene blue and iodine stain and also alien species which is the onion. For the apparatus, you need scapel, forceps, toothpick, microscope slide, cover slip, and of course, the microscope. I'm going to read down um, the procedure in staining and observing the plant cells. First thing first, you need to cut a small section of an onion and then you peel off the thin epidermis using a forceps. You place the onion epidermal in the center of a microscope slide and you have to stain the cells by using a drop of iodine on the epidermis and at this point, the slide will be known as a white mount. You place one edge of a cover slip to one side of a stain and slowly lower the cover slip to cover the slide. Tap the cover slip gently to remove trap air bubble under the cover slip. And if, let's say, there is an excess staining reagent, touch the edge of a cover slip with paper towel to remove the excess stain. And this is time for you to examine the slide under the microscope. You observe them and write down the results by drawing and label the image that you've seen under the microscope. Okay, next, the procedure to stain and observing the animal cell. Okay, at this point, you have to use another type of staining reagent, which is methylene blue. Place one drop of methylene blue solution in the center of the microscope slide. Scrape gently the inside of your cheek using your toothpick. Be very careful at this point. And then smear and mix the cells in the methylene blue. Place one edge of a cover slip to one side of stain and slowly lower the cover slip to cover this slide. If let's say there is an excess stain, touch the edge of a cover slip with paper towel to remove the excess stain and examine the cells under the microscope, draw and label them as your results. Okay, so the image here shown how you could remove the excess stain by using a towel paper. Thank you and happy experimenting. And a very good day everyone. So today I'm going to give you guys a briefing on experiment 3, investigating cell membrane permeability using curcuma longa, also known as turmeric. Basically, the objective of doing this experiment is to investigate the effect of ethanol on the structure of cell membrane of curcuma longa. And these are the materials and apparatus needed to do this experiment. You need curcuma longa, ethanol, distilled water as the materials, and for apparatus, you need scapel, ruler, cork borer, stickers, measuring cylinder, and tile. For the procedures in doing this experiment, first, you need to cut six cylinders of fresh cucumber longa tissue using a cork borer and place them on the tile. Make sure that the cylinders are cut to the same length. For this, you need to use a ruler and scapel. 
Place the cylinders in a beaker of water and leave them to soak for 5 minutes. After that, remove the cylinders from water and place them onto paper towel to dry. Then, you make a 1 to 2 4 dilution of ethanol and the total volume needed for this is 10 ml. Then, you take 3 beakers and label them as the first one as water, second one as 1 to 2 4 dilution or 25% ethanol and the third one as 100% of ethanol. Fill each beaker with each respective solution for 10 ml each. And then, you place two kukuma longa cylinders in each beaker and leave them for about 15 minutes. After 15 minutes, do observe the color changes of solution in every three beakers okay, as your results. Okay, so uh, that's all for the procedure of experiment 3. Please don't forget to subscribe ICIT Biology channel and happy experimenting! Thank you! Bye!